hello everyone welcome back to another video of the channel if this is the first time we meet my name is alia what we do here is that we reflect together about life and the laws of the universe through the islamic teachings and also we learn the arabic language specifically the egyptian dialect and the culture so if you are interested in any of the above and you haven't already then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video and about today's video today's video is really really interesting one personally for me because it's like a mix of everything that we do in the channel so it's a mix uh, of the laws of the universe and at the same time we talk about the Islamic teachings and we are going to learn an Arabic word that you hear a lot and we will learn about the culture and the background behind it and how really uh, the people use it in the real world which is totally different from its meaning in the Islamic teachings and how it should be uh, used and how this matches uh, with the laws of the universe all this is going to be answered in this video and discussed in this video so if you are interested to know about this and by the way this word is inshallah i am sure uh, you heard it a lot from all arabs in general and uh, egyptians like in every word you say inshallah and you just don't know when to use it when not so if you are interested to know more about this word then please keep on watching okay so inshallah first of all let's see this word and what does it mean is it one word no I know most of you might think it's one word but it's actually three words in share Allah in share Allah good what does that mean this is Arabic this is modern standard Arabic in means if share means wanted or willed and Allah is God okay so if God wills if God willed it why because in our religion as muslims and in our cultures as well we consider that nothing nothing in this world is going to happen unless god wills it if not if god doesn't will something to happen it will never happen whatever uh we try whatever we do it's not going to happen unless god wills it this is our culture okay good now so this is the meaning of the word in Allah. so anything that i'm going to do in the future the near or the far future i have to put inshallah afterwards okay so for example let's say that I'm, we are going to meet this afternoon which is like a couple of hours from now so i have to say okay i will see you at five inshallah because who knows at five what's going to happen right if God willed it it's going to happen and I will see you and I don't want to give you examples that really they are actual examples from my personal life where I get um, meetings and appointments with people and fr from the same day and after one hour we don't meet you know we agree for example one hour from now I will see you okay and then yeah okay sure without saying inshallah and what happened is that um, I waited in this appointment and the person left came and left okay without me seeing this person so things happen like this a lot and I'm sure you also have examples like this so this is the first thing the, now we understand the culture and the meaning in of the Arabic words good now how the people use it in the egyptian culture and by the way i'm talking only about egyptians okay maybe in other arab countries they use it in different ways i don't know really so in egypt how do we use it we use it to procrastinate things we use it to say no politely or to say no the parents to their children to say no also they say inshallah and we use it in order to refuse politely invitations and i'm going to give you examples unfortunately this this is not all egyptians but most most people use it to procrastinate to refuse politely to say no to the children like this okay 
So for example, you invite me uh, to your house and I say, yeah, 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 I'm coming, inshallah. That means that I'm not serious about it. Okay, this is what the other person would understand. That you're not serious because you just say inshallah without without saying when exactly, at what time is suitable for both of us. We didn't plan anything. We just said inshallah. That means you are not serious. Okay? Uh, another thing, uh, for example, is to say we have to go together to this trip. We didn't prepare anything about the trip we didn't even see the options where to go how to go and all these things and we just say yeah yeah sure inshallah so you say sure inshallah but you're not serious because if you were you would have to do your homework see what trips what journeys how what is your commute do something okay but without doing anything and just saying inshallah this is an interpretation of being not serious about it. And also children and the parents, and this is like very common. The child would ask you as a parent, for example, I would say, hey, I wanna go to Disneyland, I wanna go to Disneyland. And the parents simply would say, inshallah. And they're not serious about it. Why? Because they didn't plan, they didn't say what day should we go. How are we going to get our tickets? Anything. They just say, inshallah, without any action. Okay, so nowadays the children don't believe the parents and sometimes they cry when they hear inshallah, which is a very, very big mistake from my point of view. Okay, uh, or to procrastinate work, for example. I have to finish all these things, inshallah, and I don't take any action. I don't divide it, I don't classify it, inshallah, you know, you have to finish this and that and that, yeah, yeah, inshallah, I have to clean my house, yeah, yeah, inshallah, and so on, okay, so this is how most people use it, but from another point, or in the, on the other hand, uh, we use it in a good way, is that, for example, we cannot, most people also, cannot say I will see you tomorrow for example without adding inshallah either because now it's like a culture or because people really feel it that I cannot say not inshallah because because you 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 never know okay no one knows so me personally I I actually feel it when I say it it's like yeah inshallah I will see you tomorrow for example in my classes I will see you on Saturday, inshallah. If I don't say inshallah, I feel like uh, I'm, I'm doubting this. You know, I'm not sure if it's going to happen. I have to say inshallah. Do my work, plan for the lesson, but I have to say inshallah. You know, uh, things like that. For example, we say, we're going next week or next month or next year, next holiday uh, to this place, to this vacation, holiday. And we have to say inshallah, but we prepare. We prepare for the journey. We see our commute. We see how many days. We, see, we do everything. We do all the preparations, you know. You have to do your homework and then say inshallah. Inshallah is like we put our trust in God, okay? Okay, and now let's get to the big question that I always hear from my students or friends of mine who are unaware of the uh, real or actual meaning of inshallah that would ask me this but don't you think that inshallah uh, would encourage people to be lazy and procrastinate and not to do their work and so and so and of course my answer is no because if you understand the meaning of inshallah and the concept of inshallah according to the Islamic teachings you will understand that it's quite the opposite that it matches the laws of the universe of nowadays. What? How this is possible? This is what we are going to see now. So, as we said, inshallah is that you have to prepare, you have to do your work, and then after that you have to uh, let go and trust, and trust the process, don't worry about the outcome. All these are, as we know, are from the laws of the universe, right? They always tell you, do your work and then, uh, and then trust the process and then let go. Don't worry about the outcome, right? Okay, 
the same thing there is a hadith or a saying of the prophet muhammad peace be upon him who, which says what does it mean it means tie it and put your trust in god what is this this is because of a story of a man who had his animal with him who used to ride because you know um, they used animals instead of cars in the past right so this man he always he had his animal and he wanted to go somewhere and leave the animal and he didn't know if he should leave the animal like this and trust that god will not uh, make the animal wander away or or get lost or get robbed or anything like this or he should do his work and uh, tie the animal or or make sure that the animal is in a safe place so he went to the prophet peace be upon him and he asked him what should i do should i tie it so that i make sure that it is safe and it's not going to be lost or walk away or anything or should i just leave it like this and just trust in god and the response was what of the prophet was like this do both things so you have to tie it first which also means do your work do do your homework whatever you have in your hands do it now and then after that don't worry about the outcome the outcome is going to be according to god's will okay as long as you did what you should then you don't have to worry about the result you don't have to worry about anything okay so this from this hadith we understand that inshallah which is the same concept is that you have to prepare for the trip and then you say inshallah and then put your trust in god the same thing as the hadith so from this hadith we understand that no the islam tells you that you have to do your job you have to work and then leave the rest leave the outcome the result okay trust god in the result so this is it uh so now we talked i think about everything the culture uh the real or actual meaning of inshallah and we also linked that to the laws of the universe i really hope you like this video uh let me know your reflections in the comments below what do you think um you know all the comments are welcome in this channel and i really hope you like the video if so then please give it a thumbs up and um, share it also with others and finally if you like the content of this channel and you haven't already then don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so that you get notified thank you so much and i will see you next time bye bye